Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today, I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys my birth story. All the details, all the things you missed. If you didn't watch the actual birth vlog or the day before, you got some, you know, bits and pieces um, and like real life things that were going on, but there's so much more to this story that I feel like didn't get to be told, and so I thought today would be a fun day to share. I've got Brielle here, and she was gonna be all in it and like wide awake, but then she started getting all fussy, so maybe she'll join us in a minute. She might just pass out though. I'm very excited. I'm actually currently two weeks postpartum, so I gave birth two weeks ago, and the whole thing was just wild in my opinion, and I still can't believe how it all went down. So I'm gonna kind of like backtrack a little bit. A few days prior to actually going into labor or whatever, I was having contractions. Pretty, oh my gosh, baby girl. So I was having contractions, they're pretty in, infrequent. So I wasn't really like super concerned about them. In fact, keep in mind that Finn's birth, in my opinion, totally broke me. <laughs> I thought I was going into labor several times. In fact, I think at 39 weeks, I got wheeled out of Disneyland because I was certain I was going into labor. I was having consistent contractions. They were painful and I was thinking this is it. But I was just having a lot of prodromal labor with Finn. And so with her, anytime I was having contractions, I didn't even bat an eye. I was like, I probably had prodromal labor and I just didn't care because in my opinion I was never going into labor and maybe that's why in the end I didn't end up going with a home birth because I don't think I ever felt like my body was going to do it now when I when I look back at how everything happened I'm like gosh if I had just trusted my body I think I could have actually given birth but we'll get to that later so I was having contractions but that the morning of Tuesday September 27th I woke up to a pretty strong contraction. That was just one, but it, it woke me up, got me out of bed, and I went and took a bath because it was actually pretty uncomfortable. I immediately texted my mom and my sister, and I was like, just to keep you in the loop, I had a pretty strong contraction. I'm in the bath now, and I didn't sleep well at all. And they were like, oh, that's crazy. Now, did I think for one second I was going into labor? No. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of crazy and kind of funny that I was having a contraction. I did also tell them though, I was like, TMI, I am having loose stool, which is also another sign of labor and was very different because I had been very constipated throughout my pregnancy. And so it was definitely a change, but I still, again, I did not think I was going into labor. I was just thought it was interesting. And I, at that point was, 38 weeks and six days. So again, I just, I was like, not even at my due date. So I was thinking, I'm not going into labor. So anyways, spent the rest of the day with the boys, homeschooled, definitely had contractions here and there, cramping, things like that. But it was just so far from my mind that I never took anything seriously. Then later that evening, I actually went and got a massage, which I hadn't got a massage this whole pregnancy. I kind of look back now and I'm like, I wonder if that is what did it. I had a massage and I actually laid on one of those maternity pillows where you lay on your belly and it can be kind of uncomfortable but I got a full hour massage on my stomach. It was uncomfortable. I definitely had times where I was like, okay, I can't breathe and so she like put a fan on me and I felt better. And I definitely enjoyed my massage but when I got up for my massage, my back hurt so bad which I just figured was once again probably from the position that I laid in that I wasn't used to laying. And maybe that was what it is, but now I look back and I'm like, lower back pain? Also another sign of labor. Funny enough, I got home from my massage. Brian had made me a massive dinner. I mean, the worst. Brian makes me dinner a lot. He's honestly the best husband ever. <laughs> it was so yummy. It was mashed potatoes, green beans, mahi-mahi, and shrimp. Okay, and I sat there and I ate so slowly. I ate all of my dinner. It was so good, and I'm so glad I did because, you know, later on you find out that I end up uh, having to go to the hospital and you can't eat after that. So I'm so thankful that I got um, dinner. I also found this really fun brownie recipe. So I made homemade brownies uh, after dinner, and at that point, my body was feeling like really uncomfortable. I was just like, I need to get in the bath. Now I take a bath every single night, but I got in the bath and I finally lay down and get comfortable and I feel the strongest kick. Um, now I felt it was kind of like right in this side, which earlier that day I had complained about kind of a, a uncomfortable pain in that exact spot. 
I actually thought I was getting maybe a hernia. I don't know if it was or if it, it, why I felt like it was a hernia, but basically she kicked me very hard in that spot. I felt it and I kind of felt a slight pop at the same moment, but again, I'm in the bath, so like I really didn't know if my water had broke or not, so I stand up and there's water dripping, but again, it's so, it wasn't like a gush. At least not when I stood up. Maybe there was a gush went in while I was in the bathtub, but didn't know because it was surrounded by water. Finally, um, though, I'm standing up in the bathtub and I'm realizing there's definitely fluid coming out of me. But there was a part of it that still didn't really believe it. Like I was like, no, no, that's not no. Um, so I like call for Brian. He doesn't hear me, so I literally have to call him on the phone. I'm like, come here, come here right now, right now. And he's like. Okay, I'll be there in one second. I'm like, no, right now. <laughs> and I don't think at that point he knew what I was like really expressing to him. And he, he like walks into the bathroom and I'm like standing there and I'm just like, I think my water broke. And he's like, oh my gosh. And I'm just like, and he's like, are you sure? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> I seriously didn't know. At this point, I still was like, maybe I'm peeing. I like walk over to the bathroom. I peed, I'm like, okay, so that was pee. Okay, I walk back to the bathroom, or back to the bathtub, and I'm like, that's not pee. Okay, I'm pretty sure my water broke. <laughs> so at this point, I call my mom, and um, I actually call her, not FaceTime, because I'm still in the bathtub, and <laughs> I'm like streaming water out of me, and so I hold the, t the phone up to the, to the water, and I'm like, do you hear that? She's like, yeah, what am I listening to? I was like, my water, <laughs> my water broke. She's like, what? I hurry up and get a robe on and I FaceTime both my mom and my sister and I tell them and that's when things got a little bit sad. I realized at that point like, well I kind of already had realized it but I was like, oh my gosh, if my water broke that means I, I'm having this baby and my sister's not here and we just had such a plan. I just was so sure of it. I was like, I'm, my sister's gonna come the day before and then we're gonna go into the hospital and I was gonna spend the next week really preparing myself mentally to go and have a c-section all the other times i'd had a c-section before were very like spontaneous i guess like with ollie it just happened and it was like a lot of adrenaline and this one was going to be very like walking in with all my stuff and then getting ready to have surgery and so i was kind of gonna like mentally prepare for it but I did not have time to mentally prepare. I was just like, oh my gosh. So we were really sad that my sister didn't get to be there. And that definitely made me like, kind of like, is this for real? Like I wasn't really 100% sure. So for the next two hours, um, we're basically just like running around the house, preparing things. I'm kind of in denial still, but I know that I'm probably having a baby tonight. We eventually get in the car and head to the hospital and I am literally just dripping fluid out of everywhere. It's like I can't I can't even control it at this point. But I get to the hospital and they confirm that my water did break and I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? She's like, you gotta have this baby tonight. I'm like, oh my gosh. But yeah, and it honestly went so fast at that point. I think we got to the hospital around like 10. They literally walked me into the operating room, got, got me on the table. Um, we did a spinal block for this one, which was different. I'd always had an epidural with the last two. And I kind of think that's what made me so nauseous or maybe it was the fact that I had eaten dinner. So I did a spinal block and of course Brian's not there. And so this is when my nerves really got the best of me. I started like definitely getting like shaky. I'm just trying to like pray and like just like stay focused on baby and not think about everything that's going on around you because those OR rooms are just very overwhelming. There's so much happening. It's cold, sterile, bright. It's just very overwhelming, I guess. So I definitely lay there for a while just like crying and waiting for Brian to at least get in there to like hold my hand and tell me everything was okay um, but eventually he got in there and he I just remember like just feeling so out of it and like not like out of it like drugged or like anything like that just like just like scared I guess you know I feel like this was like the one this was probably the like the c-section that was the scariest and I don't know why I think I was just more I'm like more aware of 
the things that are going on and the things that could go wrong. <laughs> I definitely felt more nervous than my past C-sections and I'm not really exactly sure why. Basically at that point, once Brian was there, I felt a little bit more at ease. I tried to like relax a little bit and then we just waited for that first cry from her, which oh, was amazing. It felt so surreal at that point. I felt like in that moment, I was able to really take in what was happening. Again, like with Ollie, everything was like scary because he we weren't sure how he was. And with Finn, I actually think I was drugged. <laughs> I, think, um, I think they had given me like an anti-anxiety medication, so I was very out of it with Finley. And of course, he got whisked away. And so with this one, as soon as I heard her cry, it was just like an overwhelming like, Oh my god, I did it. She's here. She's actually crying and I'm like trying to grab for the for like the curtain because I really wanted to see her and they're like, you can't touch anything. I'm like, I need to see my baby. Of course, at this point, I'm just so thankful because um, it was just a really big want of mine that I wanted her to be placed on my chest almost immediately and they said if she was fine and healthy and good, then they would and so they brought her over really quick and just like just to make sure she was crying and breathing. And then Brian was like, stop whatever you're doing. Don't wipe her off. Don't do anything. Place her on her mom. And they did. And I am like, so thankful for that. Like her all still like wet and gross. Like they placed her right on my chest. And I was just like, oh, thank you. And I feel like they were like kind of confused. Cause that's not really the normal thing for c-section mamas but I just was like that's what I want I want her on my chest I want to have skin to skin immediately I don't want you to swaddle her up and put a bow on her I want her on me right now and that's what they did and I was just like so thankful that Brian like really pushed for those things for me that is pretty much my birth at that point I was really nauseous and I threw up but she was here and I was happy and I didn't ever have to be separated from her and I will say that this was a very like healing birth for me as crazy and as weird as it all happened and I do look back and I'm like I probably could have had a home birth I think my body was really doing it and I did forget to mention my I was I they did check me and I was at one centimeter and 80 percent of face so I, again there's a part of me that was like oh I could have done it but I'm really thankful I really feel like this was the way it was supposed to go I spent my whole pregnancy trying to prepare myself mentally for the birth that I was going to have and I feel like I feel like it was exactly what I needed as much as I would love to have had a natural birth I just don't think it was totally in the cards for me mentally because of my past and so the way that I gave birth this time it felt felt good and it felt like the way I was supposed to because she came out and I got to hold her right away nothing like terrifying happened you know so that is pretty much my birth story I will probably do like how I'm healing up and how I'm doing with her two-week update and stuff so if you want to hear all about that stay tuned that video will be coming um, and how she's doing we're gonna do a little update on her she's two weeks and oh, she's literally the best baby ever make sure you guys check out that video I would love to know what you guys think of all the pre labor signs was all those pre labor signs or was it just me like am I just kind of reaching I kind of think I was going into like labor I think that I, my body was doing it but there's a part of me that is just like completely in denial this whole entire pregnancy I feel like this whole pregnancy went so fast that I didn't really mentally realize that it was actually happening like I look now and I'm like I actually did it I had a baby and it was it all happened so quickly it all happened just like in a blink of an eye it felt like but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my birth story give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys in our next video bye